This video has a focus on using the chords track in Song Tricks. The Rhythm Track video has already shown us how these two tracks work together. If you are new to chords, check the How Music Works tutorials for a complete background. So far, we have selected chords for our songs by using the drop-down chord matrix controls in Mixer View. Songtrix Gold has over 55 chord types at advanced level, where Songtrix Silver shows just the most important types for beginners. By clicking the cell that joins the root note and the chord type, we can select a chord. This is a quick way to draft up a song but you can get more control over your chords and how they are used with rhythms in Track View. Here the chord matrix is a permanent part of the workspace, showing the selected C major chord here and here, and the four tones that Songtrix has generated for it here. These are the notes C, E and G, with an extra top C as well, and they are the first, third and fifth degrees of the chord. As we select different chords, these notes change, but notice that there are always four, and they always occupy roughly the same range on the staff lines. The main thing to realise is that these four tones form the lines of the rhythm track. You can see our C major chord, and these same tones here. When we add events to the rhythm track, these tones get played by our rhythm. To save time, I'm going to use Paste Style to grab a chunk of rhythm events. This is a very handy feature that also works for the drums, bass and riff tracks. After every chord change, a new set of tones takes effect on the lines of the rhythm track. If we split the first bar and change chords at the halfway point, we see the new chord and its tones also appearing within the rhythm. Chord segments can also be adjusted by dragging the segment boundaries in the worksheet. Each time, you see the environment of the rhythm segment is updated. Sometimes the chords are good, but the tones are not quite right. Perhaps the overall pitch of this rhythm is too high. In that case, we can return to our chords and adjust them. Until now, Songtrix has been choosing the bass pitch of our chords automatically. But for any chord, we can override this and set our own. Here are all the possible C, E and G notes we could use as the bass pitch of the chord. The number after each note is the octave number, and the current bass pitch is C5, which is middle C. To shift the chord down one step, we must change it to G4. Watch carefully here as I change. This is now a different inversion of the C major chord. It contains the same notes, but in a different order, which alters the sound colour. The chord name now shows that a specific bass pitch is used. This is called slash chord notation, and it appears the same way in the worksheet. Another way to adjust the bass pitch is to use these two buttons to raise and lower it. So now let's hear the rhythm again. Remember the C major chord has changed, but the G7 hasn't. We can go even further and choose the pitches of all chord tones by specifying our own inversion. The tick marks show which pitches are being used. Perhaps we would like to spread the inversion out a bit by selecting every second pitch instead. The bass pitch must stay selected and we must end up with four altogether. Again, watch these tones change as we finish. Notice how much more open and spacious this inversion sounds. All of the chord tones are now listed after the chord name to show that a specific chord inversion is being used. Specific inversions may also appear in other ways. For example, when recording a chord from a MIDI keyboard, and even if you don't have one attached, you can still use this tool with the mouse. If we find a chord on the piano that we like, we can enter it here. E, A, C, E, and Songtrix tells us that we have an A minor. Then we can either ignore the inversion and just capture the chord name, or we can keep the specific inversion exactly how we entered it, and then the chord tones would also be listed after the name. The extra detail is starting to make the chord track look quite busy, 
But remember, this is just our worksheet, where we want to see everything. The result of our work is shown in Staff View, where the chords are displayed neatly in their simple form again. Slash bass notation is often wanted, though, and Song Tricks can provide this with an option in Song Setup on the Staff page. By now, you may be wondering, how does Song Tricks generate the automatic chord inversions? For that matter, why is it generating four chord tones instead of three, five, or six? In fact, these are all properties that you can adjust separately for each song. You will find them here in the chord track setup. When Song Tricks generates automatic chord inversions, it tries to keep them all within a similar pitch range and spread, so they fit well with each other and give smooth changes. But you can adjust this range and spread for the whole track using these target controls. We adjusted the inversion of our first chord because it sounded too high, but instead of changing every chord in the song, we can simply do it here by lowering the target bass pitch, say by an octave or so. We may also want to spread the inversion out a bit, so we increase the target intervals from a third to a fourth. When we return to the workspace, Nothing has changed yet, because remember our chords still have the specific inversions set. But if we release them by removing the bass pitch, the chord track settings can take effect. Finally, you may want to adjust the number of chord tones and rhythm lines, which can vary anywhere from 3 to 8. If we wanted to make a realistic rhythm for guitar, we would need the fuller sound of 6 tones, one for each string. Now, when we return to the workspace, we see our inversions have been updated automatically to include the extra tones, and the rhythm track now has six lines, although our existing events may need adjustment to use them. Even more flexibility is possible with custom inversions, where pitches can be muted, repeated, or in any sequence, which allows the sound of guitar chord shapes to be modelled exactly. These are indicated with an equal sign as a prefix. For more information, see the How Music Works tutorials or the extensive help file supplied with Songtricks.